Hey guys, hello and welcome to Zen Innovations. And if your home has this kind of inverter installed, then very likely your wire main has connected only one phase wire from here. So this is the output socket of the inverter. And the prevalent method in India is just to use one wire, which is the phase wire from the output of your inverter. You can go ahead and check out the connection in your home and let me know in comments below what kind of wiring your inverter has. And this kind of wiring guys, I do not prefer at all. So the single wire connection is a Jugaad connection and the pitfalls of this kind of connections I have explained in this Q&A session. You can click over here in the I button or you can find the relevant Q&A in description below. So make sure to go ahead and understand in a deep way what kind of pitfalls we are having with this kind of single wire connection. And the problem over here is guys that in India this kind of single wire configuration has become so common that if you raise a doubt with your wire mail or if you ask someone then a lot of guys will tell you that inverter does not generate its own neutral at all. So we need to uh, sort of say common the neutral with the grid or with the mains for the load of your house to work. So is this thing a myth or is there any truth to this? Does the inverter generate its own neutral or not? We are going to test in this video. So let me explain you the meter configuration then I'll come to the wiring configuration. So this is a Microtech 800 VA sine wave inverter you can see over here and the internal working of this kind of inverter has been explained over here in this video where we have discussed about the MOSFETs and the transformers and so on. So this 12 volt inverter is connected to this 12 volt battery and to take the voltage reading of this battery I have connected a voltmeter. So the battery is at 12.46 volts. Simple configuration over here nothing fancy. Let me show you the wiring configuration. So if you notice carefully the inverter here is in currently fully floating mode which means that there is no external connection to the grid at any point. So this is the input wire let me show you it's over here right. So the input wire is completely disconnected let me keep it over here for you and the output wire so this thing which powers the load is over here and it goes directly through this bulb and in this experiment we are going to test that if this bulb glows without the presence of neutral from the mains it means that inverter can generate its own neutral let's test it right so this is the inverter I'll press this silver button to turn it on. You guys hit that like button below if you are enjoying this experiment. So let me turn it on. And lo and behold the bulb has started working. Let me turn it off so I can explain it to you without this uh, kind of transformer noise. So off it goes. Right. So the bulb started working without the presence of neutral from the mains. Which means that this inverter is generating its own neutral over here. So this kind of myth has been completely busted that the inverter does not generate its own neutral. Actually it does. And at this point guys you might be puzzled that well my wire main has connected only one wire over here and how come the lights and fans at my home are working without using the neutral from the inverter. Actually you are using the neutral from the inverter but in a Jugaad method and all that Jugaad method has been explained over here in this uh, dedicated video where I have explained you how you can test the kind of wiring at your home. So that is how the configuration for this uh, neutral works and many more of these videos are waiting for you down below in the electronics 101 playlist. The videos are in Hindi and English. Make sure to check them out. And if you like this video guys make sure to hit that subscribe button because subscribing is absolutely free. And personally let me tell you guys that I completely hate this kind of single wiring configuration and for your own safety for the safety of your devices. I highly suggest you watch that Q&A which we talked about earlier and please provide proper neutral as well as earth to your load. So in the input you have to provide the earthing from your earthing pit and even in the output socket you should be having three wires which will be the phase neutral as well as the earth and please ask your wireman to connect all of these wires into the mains box of your home or according to your distribution of your house wiring. So that is it for this little experiment guys. I hope you liked it. Take care and have a nice day.